Hello everyone, Rika here and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. So we are going to be uh, heading to Poppy to uh... How about some sightseeing? Wait, I think I'm going the wrong way. There we go. Um, we're gonna be... No need to race now, my friend. Wait. What's going on with the deer? Hmm. Slow down now. There we go. No Here need we to go. race now, my friend. There you go, buddy. And you say they made it after you placed the moonstone. Do you know why or what it means? Does it have to do with the snidgets? The breadth of one's knowledge can be as wide as the seas, and yet only run so deep. It's good to see you again, Doran. Did Poppy tell you about everything that's happened? She did, and I am glad to see that you are both safely returned. I did question the wisdom of sending you on a path at a time when that path was unknown at best. Deadly at worst. But the acumen of the centaurs is neither personal nor partial. The skies tell us what is to come, and often we do not know what we have seen until it has come to pass. Mm. You knew the poachers would try and kill Poppy and me. I did not know, my young friend. But I shall say that I was not surprised. It was in much the same manner that I expected our first meeting. I don't suppose you'd like to start from the beginning. I think Poppy and I could use that. Of course. I find it is often the best place to start, is it not? Yes. Many, many moons ago, I divined a series of events. Their meaning long evaded me, until you brought news of the Snidgets and their poacher pursuers. I believe the symbol created by the Mooncalf's dance marks the place the Snidgets are hidden, and serendipitously, I believe that I know the very place. Please, go on. I have seen that symbol only once, on a rock face in the cliffs of the forest. You should make haste there. The snidgets that have been kept there for so many years may no longer be safe. If you're right about this place, then we should make our way there. I shall see you there. We cannot afford to lose the snidgets once again. Okay, where are we going? Uh, where are we going? Hello? What? Oh, where are we going? Help? Where are we going? Okay, cool. Thank you. I don't know why that takes so long sometimes. Oh, that's far away. Okay, here we go. Up there, huh? Hmm. So, are we gonna get to catch a snidget and keep it, or...? Are we going to relocate them somewhere where... They'll be super safe, but I feel like my room of requirements would be super safe, so I don't know. I've technically bred all the beasts now, so I got that achievement, so I don't think that the snidgets are going to be something. Plus, I've captured one of every beast, too, so I don't know what this could possibly mean. 
Unless we're too late. Yeah, you know what? Let's just fly there. It'd be quicker. How remarkable. Hmm. I got here as soon as I could. Did you see the symbol above the entrance? It's the one the moon calves made at the henge. Of course, Doran implied as much, but to see it up there. Could this actually be where the Snidgets are hidden? Let's find out. Doran's waiting for us just up ahead. I'm ready if you are. Can you believe it? Actual Snidgets. I'm glad we seem to be a step ahead of the poachers. It is a little strange we haven't heard anything from them. If we're lucky, they're still poring over Grand's research. There was a fair amount. We, on the other hand, have Doran to guide us. Even if the poachers do somehow stumble upon this place, Greetings. we should be long gone. I hope we haven't kept you waiting long, Doran. Not at all. Then again, it is not I who awaits your arrival. Do you have the Moonstone with you? We do. Good. It's as, as important to what happens next as both of you are. So, what does happen next? What are these pillars here? A safeguard, I suspect. There is only one way to find out. And as for how to go about that, the two of you may know better than anyone. I don't know, something feels off about this. I'm gonna save guys uh, I've got some problems going on I, I don't know if my power is gonna go out because it's it's doing a thing um, I've only been going for a little bit but maybe everything's okay uh, well, at least I have a hard save in case anything happens to this recording. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't want to lose power and then, like... Is it making some sort of clock? What symbols do I need it to... Perhaps it has to do with the light in the darkness. Yes, Poppy. Yes. I, I, do, I do know that, but We're I don't ready. know what symbols need to be lit up. Unless the door is telling me, but it looks like that's what it's already pointing to. Look, Doran, a 
There it is. I suspect cool. we all know what lies in And now I'm afraid You're not coming in with us. If the Stigits are in, the herb will not see the true sense. And especially go on without me. Okay, well, let's just hope nothing bad happens. Look at the mirrors on the wall. They're all creatures. This place must have been built to protect them. They have nothing to fear. Revelio. What makes you say that? The poach camps always felt oppressive. It's hard to explain, but the feeling was palpable. At least to me. The sense I get here is of safety and calm. Quite the opposite of the poacher camps. Ah, here we go. Come on. Come on. Cool. Hello? There we go. Okay, that door doesn't work. Oh, a Fooper statue. Wait, why are you back up here? Okay. Okay, and there we go. Wait. There we go. Plates on the floor have symbols on them. Uh, hello? I think there was still something up here, so... Oh, the fireworks are back.
Really? I saw. Finish your work here, brother. All the events you divined have not yet come to pass. Okay. Rebellion. Moon and sun? Sun and moon? Moon and sun. I don't know. Oh, do I need to talk to somebody? No, I just need to get in here. How do I do that? Oh, I just open it. Cool. Poppy? I only ever wanted to see them safe, which they are. You should do it. Centaurs will see to that. You have my word. Thank you, Doran, for helping us to find them and to fight for them. It is you who deserves the merit, child. You did what the poachers would never have. Remember that. Well, all the well that ends well, I guess. Both fought bravely today. Allow us to carry the mantle from here. If it's okay. right, Doran, I think I'd like to stay behind and spend a little more time with the Snidgets. Well, that is that. Go! Cool. Now, that that is done, so is that Poppy's storyline done then? Like, like, are we done with her storyline now? Oh, yeah, I can't access the map while I'm in here. Um, cool, I guess. I trust Doran to keep them safe. I'm just glad they got here in time. Because that could have ended pretty poorly if they hadn't. Not that I'm any shabby wizard or anything. But I don't know if we could have taken all of those guys by ourselves. We probably could have. But story-wise, I doubt it. Video game-wise, yes. But story-wise, when you get overwhelmed like that, usually the game's like, Oh, you couldn't take them out on your own. It's like, yes, yes, I could have. I could have done all of that by myself. But no, you didn't want to let me. Cool, I guess. 
So was there only one collection chest in here? Because I didn't find anything else. Oh, this is the exit? Cool. I can check then and find out if it was the last chest. Sometimes there's one, sometimes there's two. Just depends. Come on. Okay, there was only one in there. Good. Well, let's go talk to Sebastian. And do that. Oh, right. Ollivander. That's what it is. Uh, that's the... Uh, da, 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 da. All right, quests. I don't. God, what are we gonna do? And it was kind of nice that the Snidget quest ended the way it did, but. Now we have to deal with what's going on with Sebastian, which sucks, but hey. She's devastated. She just buried. Your uncle, alone. I did it for her. Sebastian, Anne can't bear the thought of turning you in, but... What? Turn me in? She saw what happened. I'll give you some time to think, Sebastian. Turn me in. Sebastian, did you hear that? You saw what happened. I never wanted to hurt my uncle. I know. I can't believe he's gone. How did things go so wrong? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to... Oh, and I was only trying to help. I can't leave now. Anne needs me more than ever. You understand. You can talk to Ominous. Make him understand. He listens to you. I need to be with Anne. I don't know what to do, Sebastian. You don't know. You do know. Anne has no one. I regret everything I did. I know what I did was wrong. I only hope she can forgive me. That everyone can forgive me. No matter what happens from here, I'm glad we met. Poor Sebastian. Where's... Ominous? What a mess. I can't believe it. After I last saw you, I went straight to Hogwarts. Before I had time to talk to Black, I heard from Anne. I rushed to Feldcroft and found her with Solomon's body. She was beside herself with grief. Part of her wants Sebastian to face the consequences, another part can't bear the thought of it. I don't want to lose Sebastian, but I don't think we have a choice. I don't know. I mean, what he did was... What he did was wrong, but... I mean, I can't justify it. He's just a kid, though. Like... If we turn him in, he can't learn from anything. I don't know what to do. We do have a choice. What good will it do to turn him in now? He clearly regrets everything. He's not going to do anything like this again. We've both heard that before. But we also need to think about Anne. She's lost her health. Now she's lost her uncle. Do you really want to take her brother away from her too? I... I understand what you're saying. Perhaps you're right. As much as I believe that Sebastian should pay for his actions, 
we'd only be punishing Anne as well. I hope we're doing the right thing. I'll talk to Anne. If it comes from me, she'll agree with this decision. Thank you, Ominous. You're a good friend. Whatever lies ahead, we must face it together. That I know. Oh boy. Is that it? Was that it for that quest? Was that all? Cool! Let's go make the wand. Uh, this is... This sucks. This sucks so much. I don't want any more to do... Wait, actually, let me double check the time. Oh, we still got time. Let's go. If we can get the wand made, at least that'll be something. Oh, I don't know what to do, guys. There's Ollivanders. I hope he can help me craft to keep his wand. Huh? Is this not... Oh. Hello? Okay, that was weird. Hello, Mr. Ollivander. I wondered if you might be able to help me with something. Good to see you, my young Ravenclaw friend. Allow me once again to express my family's gratitude. They were pleased to learn that the wand Richard Jackdaw disappeared with those many years ago had been located, even if it was somewhat unusable. Glad oh, so we did give now, it back to him. I received an owl from Eleazar, uh, Professor Fig. He was a bit cryptic, said you need to have a special wand crafted, that you'd bring me the materials. Yes, sir. I have them in. Oh, my. How extraordinary. Remarkable design. I will be honest, I have never crafted a wand in this fashion. Repaired broken wands, of course, but this is something else entirely. Keeping me on my toes, aren't you? I think I can work with what you brought me. Let me see what I can do. Oh, he had a Eureka moment. Uh oh. Uh oh. It is done. seen a wand like this before. My suspicion, as Professor Fig implied in his letter, is that it serves a unique purpose. I doubt you shall find much use for it otherwise. I understand. Thank you, sir. Cool. Uh-oh. I'm afraid you're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. Oh, come, come. No need for such theatrics. In light of what Ranrock now knows, you must agree that our interests are aligned. No. Our interests will never be aligned. You would let goblins take what is rightfully ours? The final repository belongs to wizard kind. We would be fools not to work together. I don't trust you. What's that you've got there? 
Might this sudden visit to the Wand Maker have something to do with our mutual pursuit? I have no idea what you're talking about. That repository is my birthright! Charles Rookwood wouldn't have wanted you near it. <laughs> the arrogance. Should have known better than to try and reason with a child. I've always said, children should be seen and not heard. Great, we got kidnapped. Cool. Rookwood's reign is finally over. I'll need to send an Alta Natty right away. For now, though, I need to get back to the map chamber and tell Fig what happened. Hold on. We've got to grab the spoils of our... Uh... Revelio. There it is. I'll take that. Thank you. Where are we right now? Well, there was the only collection chest around, but I might as well grab the few that I can see. And then we're going straight to the map chamber. Alright, let's go. Oh boy. That has been... something. Alright. So is he actually dead now? Victor Rookwood is dead. He confronted me as I left Ollivander's with the Keeper's Wand. I had to defend myself. Godric's heart. Are you all right? I know you're well able to defend yourself. I've seen it often enough. But Rookwood himself... He would have killed me once he found the repository, if not before. I had no choice. You're right. You had no choice. You did what you had to do. The wizarding community owes you a great debt. Thank you for saying so, Professor. I'm ready for what's next. All right, then. The Keepers have been waiting. You have completed all of our trials, and you have done so under circumstances even I did not foresee. You understand now why all of this was necessary. 
the port key, the vault, the locket, the book, the trials, to ensure that one with the ability you and I share would make the same choice that San, Neve, Charles, and I did. Now that you have witnessed my memory, you understand all that is at stake. Not everyone is what they seem. As you know, light does not exist without shadow, nor shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Even the most well-meaning and competent amongst us cannot possibly know the consequences of manipulating what should be beyond our reach. What lies in the repository must never be released. Resist the temptation to destroy or control it. The magic that you have so carefully honed must now be used only to protect the secret we keep. You have the wand. You will know when to wield it. We leave our legacy in your hands. Well, I'll be. The final repository. We can only hope that we're not too late and that we find nothing but a repository undisturbed beyond this door. Well. I should hope that the enchantments protecting the castle would protect against an incursion. I think we might have enough time to do this, I, I don't know. May not. Although, if they don't now, I can assure you, they will in the future. Were you able to reach Professor Weasley? I was. Hopefully she and the others will arrive soon. They know where to find the door through which we entered. No! Let's go. Oh, oh. If his loyalists are here, he cannot be far behind. You and I have faced the worst, Professor. Oh goodness. Ragnarok must be here somewhere. This drill stands between us and him. We need to move it. Now I shall handle it. One moment. Let's nice! Go. Oh no, armored trolls. Great. Who knows? A dead end, huh? Uh, no. Uh, 
Oh. Professor, that wall, that's the way forward. Very protective. It worked. Let's go. Lumos! Ranrock must be getting closer to finding the repository. I fear you're right, Professor. Lumos! There's nothing we can do but keep searching. Listen, more goblins up ahead. Defensive charts. Stay them this way. We shall make quick work of them. Oh. They got this. All right. This is so cool. This has got to be like the last quest, because if this isn't, this is such a, a epic showdown for like... Whoa! Nope. Get out of here! Easily, thanks. Oh. <sighs> How are we going to get back, though? Oh, I mean, I guess we are wizards. We could probably just teleport wherever we want to go. <sighs> this again. All right, here we go.
we made it. I'm relieved we got here before Ranrock. I can't believe this is it. The repository has been under the castle for hundreds of years. Think of all the pain that created it. This is what Miriam, George, your friend Lodgok, and countless others died for. Miriam believed this forgotten magic could be used for such good. But she did not know the risks. She did not see what the Keepers have shown you. What Isadora showed you. You are now the Keeper of whatever power it holds. What do you intend to do with it? I plan to leave the repository as it is. I'm pleased to hear that. I've been thinking... What is it, Professor? I spent all year trying to keep our journey a secret from everyone, including Professor Weasley. But now I wonder if I should have shared it with her and the others sooner. Trusted them more. The Keepers wanted this secret to be locked away forever. How long will you keep it? The Keepers were right. The risk of using this magic is too dangerous. It is my responsibility alone to keep it safe. I understand, but you are not entirely alone. I will do all I can to help you. <sighs> Ranrock? The arrogance of wizard kind. Goblins built this repository. It belongs to us. Enough, Ranrock. It was never yours. I've been wanting to play with this. Miriam's one. If she'd simply handed over the container, all of this could have been avoided. Foolish, self-important witch. <coughs> Seems you were too kind. She didn't know when to give up either. <laughs> Is he a dragon now? Ah. 
What do I do? This is it. Oh, I see. You can't run forever, Randall. Give up now. And I might ensure it will get me straight. Oh, come on. Lock on to the right one, please! Come on! Ah, there it is. Beat Ranrock, the hero of Hogwarts. Yes! Professor! Oh. To contain it!
Is this almost over? Because <laughs> Professor Eleazar Fig. I dare say he was a beloved professor to many of you. Suddenly a long-standing colleague to his peers. A famed adventurer and seeker of knowledge. He built a reputation charging into the unknown, brazenly disregarding both discretion and safety. Providing perhaps a rather unfortunate lesson. All right, I gotta sign out here, guys, and uh, I'm gonna try to get this real quick. So uh, we're gonna end this here, and then I'll pick this up in another one. So sorry, guys. To his wife, Mary.